All right, guys, I'm Gizno. Welcome back to another reaction video. Today, we are back with some more Owl House. Today, we're looking at Season 2, Episode 3, titled Echoes of the Past. Now, I've heard that this is a pretty hefty episode, so I'm expecting, especially since it's called Echoes of the Past, I'm expecting some lore. I'm expecting some secrets. Uh, I'm excited to see what we got in this episode. Uh, last episode, we got introduced to Amity's parents. Um, and we got to see how their household works and just just how much those kids are going through. Uh, definitely, so far, well, I mean, I say Amity more than the others, but we saw the twins also having to be uh, at the presentation and having to help out. Uh, it's just that Amity is probably given more pressure because she has the most potential. We got introduced to Aldalia and Alitol uh, Blight, and they were... They were a treat. Aldalia Al was definitely at the forefront and she was definitely given the most uh, screen time, I think, showing just like her abuse and everything like that and just showing just how ruthless she is. And, and because of that, I made the mistake of believing that Alitol is the more friendly and the nicer parent, forgetting that one, we had that flashback of both of them saying that um, Amity can no longer be friends with Willow. And then two, basically ignoring the fact that uh while Alatol wasn't outright being you know active in the whole abuse um against Amity and you know probably you know the other the twins as well uh he was very silent uh he while defended Amity at the end was defending her possibly because he genuinely believed that Amity could grow stronger um with her friends which could at the end uh benefit the blight name because uh they believe that amity could be uh uh, uh what, what was it again a coven head and if she's a coven head that would end up helping the family uh when i when he said that i thought he was just distracting Aladol, so she would like you know stop what she was going to do which was uh stop um loose and her friends from re-entering the school but it could be possible that he actually meant what he said and he was willing to let amity be friends with loose and everybody else if that meant that um she would grow stronger so at the end of the day he was just benefiting himself even if that's not true the fact that he was just like letting aladol treat her kids that way was a pro is a problem and hopefully gets addressed in the future uh <laughs> if it was up to me uh, Amity would just leave the Blights and then get adopted by Ida, but we all know it's not as simple as that. Um, but yeah, the ep last episode was really, really good. I really enjoyed it for Amity. I mean, like, her episodes are always so good, and I'm just, I love watching her journey, you know, going from the seemingly big bully character to striking out on her own away from that toxic lifestyle and also um leave like you know slowly uh stepping away and breaking free of her parents hold on her as well it's just really good i'm really i'm really enjoying it a lot so i don't want to waste any more time i want to get into this episode but before we start I just want to say thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it if you guys end up enjoying this video then you can like the video comment subscribe all those things really help me out and subscribe unless you guys know when i upload next so let's not waste any more time and get on with the episode Oh, Ida. A flashback, I imagine? Oh, look at her hair. It's starting. I wonder what's going on. Is she, like, running away? What the heck was that? Who's there? Reveal yourself. <gasps> ah! Okay. God, her hair was completely different. I, I, liked, I liked how it was cut. But you could see the white as well, you know? She's starting to grow. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot as well. I want to mention. Um, so something that I completely missed while at the end of the episode was the was the fact that they were talking about combining uh, the elements in order to create other spells. Because like they said, um, there are no more base uh, glyphs. So the only ones that are that are there are light, um, nature, uh, fire and ice i think that's all of them so now we have to worry about combining them the reason why ida's was failing so much was because that she was not treating them like they are which which are words so you can't just pile them on each other because that's not how you make words that's not how you make sentences instead it's more of like an adding so um you have ice and then after that 
nature, and then after that, light. It's not just light, nature, they're all on top of each other. So I completely forgot to mention that. Um, and I do like how the glyphs are sort of like words or like letters. And you have to like, you know, basically form uh, a word with those glyphs. I think that's really interesting. So I'd like to see how they how they combine glyphs in the future. And it looks like that's how we're going to, that's what we're going to do in this episode. So let's get back into it. <laughs> Look at the little loose drawing. I think Francois is trying to start a rebellion. Oh God. Oh my God. It's always glyphs and portals with you these days. She is Look trying to be a witch. Why don't you ask Lilith for help? Your experience with unruly <laughs> Look at her. I think they're all kind of in that focus <laughs> right now. Ink dry is the best part. Oh my uh, God. <laughs> the first cup of tea for my favorite cup of tea. Defer you to gem. How do you always know what to do? What's going on? It's Are actually mailing her. It's oh, actually going well. Friends, isn't that nice? God, I'm glad Hootie found somebody that could keep up with him. <gasps> oh. Now you don't. Wait, what was that glyph I looking? Only as long as I hold my breath. Still pretty cool, huh? That's don't actually really that cool. Again. As the lead historical scholar <laughs> of the Emperor's Coven, of course, it could be very helpful in. <laughs> Historically, demons have never been united under a single rule until Bellos. There oh. is no such thing as a king of okay. demons. Okay. I'm both relieved and I'm sorry for you, king. <laughs> I was once the mighty king of demons. Uh huh. I was beloved almost as much as I was feared. Transforming me into this. Maybe, oh, you know. What happened to your crown of power? It's just history I that we don't it. know I was about. Just to test Ida and Luce's dedication to me. How convenient. Aww. A hole in your memory for each hole in your story. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Lulu! Up top! <laughs> hey, oh my god, you gave him a black eye. I remember, armies bowing before me. Being served the I feel like there is something to King's past, but it and might not be what he thinks. Height. So sad. Don't Aww. blame me for your ignorance. I'm Are oh, we gonna get some King ignorance. in this episode? Me. Oh! Stop it, you guys. Is that who uh, young Ida met? So the least we can do is play along. You mean indulge his silly fantasy. It's not hurting anybody. The house of principles. My historical expertise is being questioned and I will not allow it. Hootie, would you like to I mean, we, history is a funny thing. We might not know everything that happened, you know? What's happening? What did you ask him to do? Oh my god. <laughs> You're gonna... Oh my god, you're gonna scar somebody one day, Hootie. Oh, you worry me. Off to my real castle. Don't wait up. Love, your favorite demon overlord. Oh no, not again. Oh. <laughs> not again. Has this happened before? Whoa, that's so cool. Oh my god, I love that. I also love how they can still use their staffs. <gasps> what is that? shouldn't be here it's not on any of you the see Lilith it's always been there when I look for it it's always been there when I look for it hmm it's all fake <gasps> fine ah oh. <laughs> look is that pillar to castle how have we not visited this this place in the past <clears throat> Thank you, nice that's a giant Ooh, Keyhole. A door fit for a tyrant. And this symbol. I've never seen anything quite like this. Ha! I've got better graffiti on me! Oh Luke, god, are you like obsessed with her now? Language I know. History. <laughs> okay. What's a mystery? How did you do that? <laughs> the only mystery is how Lilith can be so smart and so wrong at the same time. <laughs> oh god. Lilith, just play along. But what is this? Strange symbols? Giant keyholes? Oh my god! Ah, the chamber where I would devour the hearts of my foes! Look at those, like, hot dog. Oh? Like hot dog statues. Up. My castle does have that effect. These carvings. Oh. Ancient. What does that mean? That? Looks like what we see whenever King talks about her, talks about his rule. That he may actually have been <laughs> the king of demons? Up there. 
I can't quite recall. That's where it maybe I fell a from. Muffled roar? Probably some minion praising my name. No. This muffled is also roar. Cool, but he is probably You're killing me. I'm trying to figure it out. Last time it was real hard getting her off the roof. <laughs> oh god. You could, uh, regale you with some tales. Am I using that word right? Regale? You're the king. Whatever word you use is right. <laughs> Boy, was it awkward to sit in. God, could he maybe have been, like, a follower of the king? Or maybe, like... What are these things? What is that boomerang statue about? Ugh. Up top, buddy. Ugh. Oh, that's horrible. Are these bodies? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Represent my lord. Maybe he was a soldier. But that handsome devil looks familiar, huh? We gotta. Yeah, it's like the mask. But there's so much to learn. What is under that mask? I wonder if we ever are ever gonna know. Horrifying monstrosity room. Don't worry, they can't hurt you. The thing with King is, oh, he's describing how everything looks now, but he's not describing how it used to look. You know. So I don't even think this is where he's from. Also, that thing looks sick. Oh, Lilith with more ice. Oh, God, that looks so cool. Uh, but it is going to kill you. What is that? Oh, nice. His eyes remind me of the, of the Emperor. But, like, nothing else reminds me of the Emperor? It's been a while. Except, no, the flesh! The flesh reminds me of the Emperor's and also the Golden um, Guard's magic. Muscle magic, maybe? Look at my girl, Ida. It's still there! Oh, it can't escape. It can't get past the entrance. Uh, um, Aww, King. You believe this is my castle. It doesn't... Uh... Liz, you think... I would like No, you just don't hey, know. I, I never right. knew this place existed and it just appeared out of the mist. So it appeared when you went when you went now there. <gasps> oh my, my god. What are you? He made it. He was like he was making home. them because then, they look like that. Kill us both. Oh. He started talking about being a king. Look at him, he's so cute! Yeah, what did you do? A king amongst his subjects. What did you just say? You know what else kings do? He was making and people, but the only people that he's species. known are those boomerang head that's things. Got the idea. That's why that's why he made those statue things. I kept playing along with him. Uh, You're lying. She brought that with her. Poor guy, his whole life he's been he's been thinking like this. I lied to him. Poor guy, he's like really sad. Now he's all alone. What is this place? And what do I feel like it's connected to the Emperor's magic? Then also we saw that thing that kinda looks like King as well. You said you remember a roar from up in that shaft. Do you wanna go up there? I don't know about that. Exactly, there's still a mystery. Before, but you have us now. Exactly, you're gonna be a king. To be so king. Okay. We have one more thing to check out. All right, let's figure it out. Oh, why are you doing that now? Oh. Hey. <laughs> nice. What to do? They're a good team. God, how many of those sure things did he have? <laughs> Is that another combined spell? Oh no, that's a fire spell, okay. Damn! Nice! Ah, you can't keep- Oh, no! Oh, he's good! He's doing it! Oh, come on, I wanna see- What is this? There's- There's- Nothing here! Get away from the edge! It's coming! Get away from the edge! Please don't tell me that arm can move around by itself. This room is old. Very old. You're an egg. I knew there was egg. something up here. And then something happened. But I was too small to Crashes. do anything. So I went back to sleep. 
Also, we have no idea how old you actually are. How long was it sent until Ida found you? So this thing was like his den mother. I don't know how I know that, but I do. Someone called that me thing in the son. paint, the paintings. Th that was your was mom or your dad. Jeez. Him and all those wall carvings. Yeah. Look, it's the baby. Look. Good God. Maybe you weren't exactly the king of demons. You're the prince. It's important to someone. If, Maybe. If he's out there, I want to find him. I'm not that old. It could be possible. And but can we keep him? Uh, no. no. Yes! Lilith said that all this stuff is really old, so maybe you are. It's kind of weird when I'm not the king of anything. You're our king. You'll always be king of my heart. Oh, That's good enough, Look right? at you with your two horns. I've never seen markings like this. Any ideas, mystery whisperer? I don't know. Maybe those no symbols discover, are glyphs? We'll I don't know. No matter what. That thing in the center, Jesus! Woo! <laughs> what the hell? Oh my God! Uh, the the lore, the mystery of it all. God, I feel like I have to have a discussion video just for this. We see here that Lu uh, Luce has made an invisibility uh, spell. Now, I have to admit that this glyph looks kind of weird. Like, I, I guess it's a bit different than how I thought. Maybe it's because it's zoomed out. But I kind of expected the glyphs to still like look like glyphs. Only um, the difference is that, you know, they're together on one page. They're just not on top of each other. Uh, I thought that's what we learned the last episode. But I guess I was wrong because this glyph looks completely different. Um, nonetheless though, it's making her, uh, giving her an invisibility, invisibility ability, uh, so it is working. I just, once again, it's completely different from what I expected because I thought in the last episode it was discussed that the way to make combination glyphs is to have them, like, ne have the glyphs next to each other or something like that, uh, in order to, like, you know, form words. Uh, that could be what's going on here, but, and it's just, like, it's so far away that we don't see, like, the detail. But it just, it, I don't know, it looks a little weird to me. It doesn't look like any glyph that I've seen before. So the second thing I want to bring up is this island. Lilith talks about how, you know, there were no records of this island ever existing. You know, there's nothing on any, like, you know, any books or anything like that. This island shouldn't be there. But King is like, well, it's always there when I want to go here. So it makes me wonder, like, okay, is it only, does it only appear when it needs to appear. Uh, something that makes me think about that is the fact that there's fog around. Usually when there's fog around like an island or something like that, it's because it just appeared out of nowhere seemingly. Uh, like there's some mystical stuff going on about that. So I think this island definitely has some secrets. And one of the secrets is the fact that, well, it's not always there. Of course, that's just what I think, just like, you know, right off the bat. But it's just something that King said about like, you know, oh, well, when I'm looking for it, it's there. Uh, so I'm wondering, huh, I wonder if it's always there or if it's only there when it needs to be. Like, it was there when Ida was escaping from uh, the Emperor's Coven. Uh, could it be because it wanted it wanted her to be there? Um, it, it's just, it's a really big mystery. Um, of course, it also, apparently, it's holding like a whole civilization as well. Uh, so that's really interesting. Something that made me think was the fact that, um, I don't know, just it made me think back to, uh, Luce's glyph and just how weird it looked. Like, this could maybe possibly also be a glyph, but if it was, wouldn't touching it make Lilith activate it? Or maybe because she doesn't know that it's a glyph, it doesn't activate. That's just something that I'm wondering because it looks like it could possibly be a glyph. The fact that it's like, you know, circular and it has like symbols on it. Maybe it's a glyph. Uh, and then it makes me think, okay, maybe this, this, this castle is from the old days. Like back when they were using uh, glyphs instead of having like a thing attached to their heart, a, a magic pouch attached to their heart. Because Luce, uh, Lilith does talk about how this is very, very old. It just makes me think that maybe this is connected to the whole writing glyphs in order to activate magic. And maybe it, this is a glyph, the only thing is, maybe it's a glyph. Okay, wait, 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 Okay, maybe it's a glyph and it is activated. And it's the thing that's keep that's making the uh, muscle guard um, inactive whenever it leaves the castle. So it, it's making me, this is making me really believe that this is possibly a glyph um that we're seeing right here so here we see another statue and this looks very very interesting uh this could possibly this is i mean obviously related to king 
Uh, it looks like King had a whole like civilization behind him uh, that was possibly wiped out. Um, and we see here we have this guy who could possibly be uh, King's dad. Um, and he's battling this monster right here that we don't know what it possibly is. Its face is sort of like ripped out. Like you see here, uh, its face is kind of gone. It's the part showing its face is cracked out. Uh, in fact, a lot of it is cracked out. Um, so I'm wondering if this monster is something that we're going to see again, mainly because its face is mostly um, blotted out. Uh, nonetheless, this could, once again could possibly be uh, King's dad. And something that really caught my eye is this eye symbol right here. I wonder what that means. But there seems to be this whole civilization here that praised uh, this guy over here. Not only praised, but also gave him a place where he could have his child safely, you know, with guards and everything. So King is definitely an important person, or at least his family was. Um, so maybe you shouldn't like, you know, knock out the king name just yet because there's a, there's a good chance that he might be a prince, you know, uh, and it could possibly, it possibly, there is a chance that he's still alive out there. Uh, but if he is, then he's very, very old. So here is the muscle guard. And the thing that really catches my eye for one thing is the eye itself. It looks a lot like, um, the emperor's eye. So it makes me have an idea that maybe both of them are connected. The second thing is the fact that like this muscle magic seems very similar to uh, the Emperor's muscle magic. Um, and I'm wondering, could it be possible that the person that uh, this is connected to the Emperor in some way? Adorable King right here. Just have to stop and mention that real quick. So here we see a little, a little nursery it looks like. And we see some more uh, of those boomerang head muscle guards here, which makes me believe that this place was built for King because once again, because these muscle guards are, were here to protect King. Uh, and then King talks about how when, when he gets his memory back, there was a crash that he heard. Um, and then after that, he was, he was born. I think that crash was the emperor invading this castle in order to steal it, uh, the magic from this place. And that's where he got the magic to do like the whole muscle thing that him and the golden guard can do. Um, this is from, I don't know how old the emperor is. I don't know how old all of this is. I don't know how old King is, but I think there's definitely something connecting him and the emperor now. And it's the fact that the emperor was here, possibly killed his family and took, his, and took the magic. I, I don't know. Uh, but that's just my idea. Uh, but yeah, this was a really good episode. Really uh, just jam-packed with so much mystery, so much lore. I'm excited to see where this leads to. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little breakdown discussion thing where I'm trying to figure things out. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys for the next episode. Until then, bye.